Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Caitlin, and in today's video, I'm going to be talking all about my dental hygiene loops. I'm going to talk about the companies that I considered, why I chose what I chose, and I'm going to be showing you a little bit about how they work. So if you're interested in that, just keep watching. Okay guys, so let's go ahead and get started. So first of all, I'm going to tell you a little bit about the different companies that I saw at my school. There were supposed to be six coming in and talking to us all about loops, but only three ended up coming. And actually, I personally went into this wanting oroscopic. They ended up canceling. I reached out to one of their representatives and said, hey, I'm really interested. Is there another time that we can schedule? Can I meet with you one-on-one? -on -one? And we set up a time. She canceled on me again. And I just took that as a sign that oroscopic was not for me. I've heard a lot about how their loops are great. They've been around for a long time and they're kind of like the Cadillac of loops, at least whenever it comes to dental hygiene. You know, they have really cute frames and stuff like that, but I just got a bad taste in my mouth. She canceled on me multiple times and she wasn't very nice so I can't really I'm not going to speak on that company because I obviously didn't even get to see those loops in person but uh, customer service wise that was definitely a no-go for me. Now the other two loops that I saw was designed for vision which apparently they're the ones who invented the loops. The loops however were a little heavy on my face and that was one thing that I knew that I should consider going into it is how heavy it is on my face since I'm going to be having that on my face for hours and hours a day. So I really wasn't into any of their frames, honestly. There were there were a couple that I thought were cute and that worked good. And I do think they were a lot more precise in their measurements. They took a lot more measurements whenever they measured you for their loops as opposed to other loops that I got fitted for. And so it does seem a little bit more precise. So that is one thing that could be really good about Designs for Vision. They were also just a little bit cheaper than the other companies companies as well. The second company that we saw was Surgitel and I personally did not like Surgitel's frames or anything like that and the just disclaimer I'm not hating on anybody for whatever kind of loops you choose. I'm just telling you what was going through my mind whenever I was seeing all these different companies. I did not like any of the frames and how they fit or anything, but I did like their light. Their light was very crisp and clear. It had a good like circle around it. Some of them have kind of like a halo where it's like a bright light and then there's like a lesser of a light, you know, coming out from it. But this had like a good crisp edge. And then not only that, but they had where you can put your hand in front of the light and it will turn on and off so you don't have to actually press a button. I think it's called the Eclipse Light. That was really interesting to me. I really wanted that but the problem was that it was like $400 or something like that. I could be completely wrong. I can't really remember but it was like $400 or something like that if you got it with frames but it was like $800 if you got it without frames and honestly at that point in the presentation I was like okay I'm gonna get Designed for Vision frames because I did like some of those and then I'm gonna get this Eclipse Light like a la carte and so that way I can go like that and have my, you know, my light turn on. So that's what I liked about Surgitel. Then Q Optics came in and I kind of always thought that I was going to go with Q Optics, honestly, just because a lot of people go with Q Optics. They have a really good price and a really good payment plan and things like that. So I was very interested to begin with with them. When it came down to it, I did like their frames the best. They were the lightest on my face and I was considering doing the Eclipse Light from Surge's Hell with that, but it made it to where I would literally have spent like 400 extra dollars just to go like that and turn my light on. And one of my teachers, actually, I think all of my teachers have Q Optics. One of them has Oroscoptic too, but she said that the Oroscoptic ones are heavy on her face, so she likes the Q Optics ones better. And they said that the Q Optics has a big button, so you can actually reach down and hit it with your elbow to turn the light on and off and so it's just as easy so to me it wasn't worth 400 extra dollars just to go like that and have my light on but it was a cool feature with Surgitel and if you can afford it I definitely think it's worth it. They also had options for wireless lights and stuff like that but I didn't want to do that. I've heard that's heavier on your face and the battery doesn't last near as long so I figured I would just keep it old school and go with the wired light. So I did end up choosing Q Optics and I want to show you the difference on their pamphlet here in what I bought. So I ended up going with the Eclipse. I will show you what that is right here. So that is the style frame that I went with but they also have the classic Q8877 and then the Revival. 
I thought that the Revival was the cutest one. That's the one that I wanted to go with. But I did end up going with the Eclipse simply because there was a lot more space between the telescope and the top of the frame. So I felt like it was in a lot less of my vision. When I had on the Revival and the Classic, I felt like there was such a small amount of space between the telescope and like the top part of the glass that it was in like half of my vision and I felt like that would really bother me eventually. So instead of going with the cute ones I went with these which these are still cute so I'm gonna go ahead and show you what I got now it comes in a box just like this I'm gonna cover up my last name but this is the box that it comes with it comes personalized with a nameplate on it which is super cool now mine is a little messy because I have already messed with it don't judge me but this is what the inside of the box looks like and then I will show you the loops the loops it does come with this little wire thing right here where you can make the wire on the side. I guess it would be on the right side if you were left-handed, on the left side if you were right-handed. And it just pulls the wire up to the side so that it's out of the way for the light. The light also comes with a little cap on it. So I guess you can put that on there whenever you're not using it. And then it did come with these straps back here. It's adjustable for you to put around your head. So this is what it looks like on. So sorry about the light. There we go. Do you see what I mean about the space? So the space between here, it was really important to me to be able to look out and actually see without having this in half of my vision because whenever you have the Revival or the Classic on, these telescopes are literally like here in your vision and I, I just don't like that because I'm really sensitive with lights and things like that and just stuff in my vision. Night driving is difficult for me because I don't like the glare and all that kind of stuff. My eyes are just really, really sensitive. And so I don't want to be looking through these, get dizzy, and then look up and have stuff halfway in my vision. I think it's really going to help me if I'm having issues with being dizzy to look up and not have anything in my line of vision. So having this big glass is the main reason why I went with these instead of the cuter ones. I'll insert a picture here of the cuter ones, like I call it, and you can actually see in those pictures, I'm sure, the that there's way less space between the telescope and the top of the frame. The color that changes whenever you have these on to personalize them is this top band right here. So the, I chose slate gray. They also have a lot of different colors. Let me read it to you. So they have pewter, slate gray, gunmetal gray, black cherry, copper, hot pink, lilac, pearl, pearl pink, blue jean, cayenne red, and white. I just went with slate gray because I thought that I didn't want to get some bold color and then it not go with my scrubs and my job in the future. I just thought that it was really neutral but still really cute and you would be able to, you know, have it last forever. Another reason why I went with Q-Optics is because of the price. So together I paid $13.02 I believe for the light and the loop and the loops do have a lifetime warranty which no other company that I talked to has so that was really the main reason why I went with that also was the price I heard that they have a good payment plan I did not do a payment plan myself but I heard that they have a really good payment plan the lifetime warranty like how can you beat that the customer service was awesome yeah it was just great the loops come with a battery pack this is what the battery pack looks like you can hit this button and it shows you how much battery you have left you can also adjust the brightness and then that's the big button that I was talking about that my teacher said you can reach down and hit with your elbow and it really helps you not to have to change your gloves a hundred million times to turn it on and off comes with obviously the charger battery pack and then it comes with this little bag that is velcroed on the top and it has an extra wire wiring for the light they have a cleaning solution and then they also have the little wipe that you can wipe it with. And then it also comes with an extra nose piece for each side. And then it also comes with this curing light. I don't know how this works yet. We are learning to do sealants in just a couple of weeks whenever we come back to school. It's actually, I think the first lecture that we have is sealants. So it's actually pretty convenient how they have it set up. You can just close it and then Velcro it back and it sits nicely in your container. So I will show you how bright the light is. I don't really know how well that's going to work on here. So if we can see right there, this is on the lowest setting because I always have it on the lowest setting. And then that's as bright as it gets. I don't know if you can tell a difference. So honestly, there's not that much of a difference between the brightness. I'm not going to lie. Now let's see if you guys can see through these loops or not. Oh, look at my teeth, y'all. 
Okay, this is a little invasive, but this is kind of crazy. Uh, nobody judge me. <laughs> These are my lips, you guys. I was so excited to make this video. I can't believe I'm here yet, you know, at this part. Oh, also, it comes with this little hook so that you can hook the wire out of your way onto your clothes. So, um, and here's a little lid that can go on the top of your light as well if you want to protect that. So yeah, all goes back in the case. It's kind of hard sometimes to get the wiring back in there. I just leave the light on because it's cushy and you can just close it and lock it and it doesn't ruin it or anything like that. So got it back and then you can just snap those clothes and you're good to go. So how I'm gonna be practicing with these loops over my break, so a lot of you guys know I'm off between May and June this month and our teacher said that they really want us to be working on like painting our nails and practicing with them every single day because you can get dizzy, because you can get nauseous, and I'll definitely film an update for you guys on how I'm adjusting and especially because my eyes are very, very sensitive when it comes to lights and, and just looking through magnifying glasses and things like that. So I'll definitely let you know how I'm dealing with that. For my game plan, I'm going to be practicing with them every single day for at least five minutes. I'm probably gonna up the time as we get closer to going back to school. And I'm going to be doing my nails with them. Sadly, I haven't gotten my nails done like I wanted to to have them done for this break, but I decided that I'm going to do them on my own. I'm gonna do my own nails and I'm gonna do my own toenails before I go on vacation this coming weekend. And I'm gonna practice with the loops. And I'm also doing these maze books. Actually, one of my followers on Instagram messaged me and said that the best way that her class got through real loops was practicing with maze books. So I actually went to the dollar store and got these maze craze books and I gave them along with a little kit to do your nails and some candy to my classmates at our like last session and said don't get too loopy over the break and gave them a little kit to practice with their loops. So that's what I'm planning on doing. I'm planning on doing those maze books with the loops and then I'm also planning on doing my nails and just different things like that. Probably painting my friend's nails and just really trying to practice coordination that it takes to, you know, use your hands in this magnified space, you know, depth perception wise and everything like that. Keeping the correct posture and then also you know, doing those maze books I think will help a lot. So that is my plan for not getting dizzy. Hopefully doing that for four weeks before actually seeing patients will help significantly. And yeah, that is my plan. So I really hope that you guys enjoyed the video. I hope that I covered everything that you wanted to know. And if you have any questions, definitely let me know down below if I forgot anything or if you want any more specific details. But that is my loops video. I've wanted to film that for so long. I can't I can't believe I'm here. I can't believe I'm at the point where I'm about to start practicing with loops. I know it'll be here before I know it, so it's just super crazy that we're at this point. But I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Make sure to like the video and subscribe, and I will see you guys very soon on the next one. Bye, guys.